Hi, you're watching Professor Plays. I have parts. Now I can make uh, nuclear power. So let's grab some parts. Yeah, let's see if I can make some room here for some parts. I don't need all that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. There's some parts. Or some room, I should say. And I have uh, fuel. Nuclear fuel is down here somewhere. I need water for the power plant. I think there was water to the left. Ah, uh, yes, I see some water. So here's the fuel. Yeah, I already planned on going that way. The fuel is going this way. And water is right here. Okay. So I would recommend if you're going to make nuclear power that you get some blueprints. Um, I have blueprints on professorplace.com. I'm going to make this uh, two reactor, 160 megawatt power plant right now. And the reason I'd recommend that you use blueprints is you get the uh, correct ratios of parts. Okay, what is going on here? Oh, that's right. This is outside the repair, wasn't it? Oh, no, it wasn't outside. Oh, okay, that, that was what was going on. It gets damaged, the bots go out to repair it. And then uh, the bots are getting attacked by bugs. Okay, right. They'll repair that. So, I re again, I would recommend that you get some blueprints, mine or somebody else's, for nuclear power. And that way the ratios will be correct of, of uh, the parts, the reactors, the, the heat exchangers, the turbines. If you don't get the ratios correct, it'll still work. It just won't be as efficient. Go to map view here and see if I can find a good place to put this. How about up here? Um, yeah, that's fine. Fuel was designed to go in at the bottom. Where my character is, that's where fuel goes in. And, it, and if you need to expand it, it expands up in this case. Let's see if I can use one of these existing RoboPorts and make it line up. Will you line up with that RoboPort? Yeah, how about that? That looks good to me. There we go. So there's a two reactor uh, power plant, nuclear power plant blueprint. You, It's much more efficient if you use multiple reactors. You get a, I know it's not realistic, it's a game, right? You get a neighbor bonus. So by having reactors next to other reactors, you get more uh, power. And so then this design, this two reactor design, is designed for belt feed. And so the fuel, you can see the indicator here, the fuel goes in here. So let me bring the fuel over this way. Let's see if I can avoid hitting everything. If I brought fuel through here, what would that look like? That would look pretty good. So fuel goes there. And my fuel is down here somewhere. Uh, we're, I'm making the fuel down here. Yeah, this is fine. This will work just fine. So come with me, fuel. And it's right here. There we go, there's some fuel. I have the research for the different chests. So this is actually designed for one of the purple chests right there. Do I have any of those? No. So the purple chest, uh, Active Provider, what that does is it tells the bots 
as soon as something is placed in there, come over here and get it and take it to uh, a trash. Take it to a storage. And that is good because this is where the spent fuel cells go. You don't want those to, to back up because if the uh, reactor cannot remove the old fuel cell, it will stop. It won't work. It'll stop generating heat. And so that looks correct. Uh, there's still some heat pipe missing. Okay, I've got those. Okay, do I have all the heat pipe in there? Ah, uh, yes, you have all the heat pipe. You have all the heat pipe. Okay, I did not have any more of these. Today. No, I don't have any more of those. Okay, now we need water on each end. So, water. Uh, right in here somewhere. And offshore pump. Give me another offshore pump, if I can make one. So that's water on that end. Uh, I got a couple fuel cells. I'll throw some in there. There's the fuel. And water on this end. Is there water down here? No. Okay, we'll need to bring water over and then up. Now, again, these, uh, the reason this pipe goes down here so far is the next generation of power plant, the steam turbines come way down here. So that's kind of like a reminder that if you're going to build the bigger version of this, you're going to need more room. Uh, let's go here. And water over here. Okay, and offshore pump. Okay, you have water, you have water, you have fuel, uh, you have heat pipe, the heat pipe is heating, okay, and these parts will get placed because we're in the build area. Uh, yes, we are all in the network. Okay, now in order for the bots to remove the spent fuel cells from that chest, I will need logistic bots. I'm not currently building logistic bots. I don't think I automated those. I'll make a few. It doesn't take many. And they will take those spent fuel cells to uh, storage chests, the, like the yellow chests. I think I put a few of those up here somewhere. I may need more, but uh, but I think I did. I think I put some chests up here. I will try to remember to look for those, because I don't remember where I did that, or if I did that. It just seems like I remember doing that. Let me, let me, uh, well, I'll try to remember. What else do I need down here? Let's see, I got, uh, I think that's everything on this end. So I can go up here now, and this is definitely part of the electric grid. That's good. We'll make a few. Make a few storage chests. And I'm pretty sure I put some up here somewhere. Ah, uh, yes, I see some right there. Making, I'm making, I'm making flying robot frames. Why would I want to do that? 
Exactly. Let's see, if I had a few flying robot frames, I could craft some logistic bots a little faster. Where did I build those? Up here. Uh, but there aren't any. Oh, there they are. What do I have? I've got five. There's 40. Um, should you... Shouldn't you be running? What are you waiting on? You don't have any steel. Oh, I turned it off. That's right. I said I was going to divert it all and then forget that I diverted it. Uh, okay. I diverted it to make, uh, something. What did I divert it to make? Uh, lasers? Uh, let's see. Where did I divert the steel? Maybe that's a better question. Or was it steel that I diverted? I diverted something. Yes, I diverted steel right here. I was to make nuclear parts. We don't need to have you diverted anymore. You can go both directions. Like that. Okay, that's what I diverted. So now steel's going up there. Okay, that's good. I should have made a note on the map when I did that diversion on that splitter, but I didn't think of it at the time. Uh, I'm going to need more coal up here. Let's see, we need... Where's my coal coming from? I see a belt of coal. Uh, where do you come from exactly? You come from up there. We're not going to need coal for power shortly. We are going to need coal in the in the base. There. I'll give the base some coal. So let's go over here now and check on the power. It doesn't take too long. The uh, reactors, they need to get up to 500 degrees C. And assuming everything is in there. Oh yeah, they're, they're working. So when you see steam coming out of the turbines, turbines, you're generating power. And so now if you click on one of the power poles, doesn't matter which one, you'll see down here that you're generating electricity from the steam turbine and you're generating electricity from the steam engine. This one, uh, the amount of power generated will go down, but it won't go to zero. Um, so we don't need that now. Well, this will satisfy all our power needs. In fact, this, uh, this, these graphs up here are showing us that. Our production capacity is 235 megawatts and we're using 50 megawatts. So you can see we've got a lot of excess capacity. And then this graph is showing the, the the nuclear power compared to the coal. So now I can turn off the coal power. Where was that? That was up here somewhere. What I generally do is I leave the steam engines in place, or at least a few of them. And then if you if you want to, you can use that to burn up excess wood. So I can go up here, and I would not need both of those, but for right now we can just remove the water. And as soon as it's used up the water that's in the system, it'll stop, stop working. And you can get rid of, like I say, you get rid of one whole line of those to make more room if you wanted to. So now, Oh yeah, lots of power. Now with lots of power, 
I can use laser turrets around the wall. And I set up uh, production of those. I don't know how long it's been running. Let's see, where did I do that? Up here somewhere. Wasn't it? Robots and laser turrets uh, share. Yeah, up here. Robots and laser turrets share parts. Oh, there's 20 in there. Not very many. What are you missing? You're missing steel. Maybe that's why I diverted that up there so that I would... No. I see steel backed up over here. Um, steel was supposed to go in there. Yeah, it's all being it's all being consumed. There just isn't that much to begin with. Do we have more iron in? Do we have more iron ore available? You're probably not using all that. All right, no, that that belt's not even flowing. So I need to set up more steel production, and now that I've got nuclear power, I can do that with electric furnaces. So. If you want to get my blueprints, uh, go to smelting, and I have uh, uh, steel smelting with electric furnaces. This one here, very long blueprint, doesn't use modules or anything. It just uses the electric furnaces to smelt steel. See how long it is. Uh, but if I put this somewhere where I could get some iron ore going into it, like right there, some iron ore. Is that was was that the biggest iron mine? 5.7. Or is that the only iron mine? Yeah. But I can put that up there and uh, smelt some steel. And then bring that steel down here. There's more iron around. This will work for now. So give me that blueprint again. Smelting. Steel with electric furnaces. Right here. And let's put it... Uh, let's put it like... Let's see. Where does steel need to go in at? Steel needs to go in... Um, in down here. So right there is where steel needs to go in. And I want to put the iron ore in there. So let's take, maybe let's make it go right here. See how that works. What am I hitting? I'm hitting an electric pole. Will you fit between there? Yes. You will fit between the electric poles. And that way I can put some iron ore in there. And steel comes out up there. I'll need to set up uh, production of electric furnaces. I don't, don't, don't think I did that. I decided to add some laser turrets around the wall because that's why I wanted the nuclear power to begin with. <clears throat> so I've got... I, I'm not making a lot of them yet, laser turrets, but I've got a few. So I'm putting medium electric poles uh, around the wall or next to the wall. And then I'm putting uh, pairs of laser turrets. They do need electricity. So wherever I see bug bodies, I'm putting two laser turrets on each side of the of the medium electric now it ran out so I'm just blueprinting it in right now so I'm just looking for bug bodies and I can do that from map view in fact um, so there's some bug bodies I've got laser turrets blueprinted in there I've got them blueprinted in there I'm sorry I'm scrolling kind of quickly here uh, oh I, I need the other one I need this blueprint there we go so just kind of do that and put laser turrets around the next to those of medium electric poles I'm just doing that all the way around. Oops, it hit, it hit something there. Why? Why is there a pipe there? You don't go anywhere. I don't know what you're doing there, but you're not there now. So that can go there. Uh, looks like this corner is getting lots of visitors.
blueprinting and power. Like that. And then a blueprinting in laser turrets like that. I'm just looking for bug bodies again. A few down here. No. Okay. Give me this pattern. Or give me the spacing, I should say. that work? Yes, that works. Right there. So give me that power. Okay. Look for bug bodies and let's give them some lasers. Okay, we don't need that wall there. there and put laser turrets around that wall myself. Let's see, you need power. Lots of bug bodies up here. Okay, now let me see if I can find an attack where there are laser turrets placed. There aren't no laser turrets up there yet. 
and uh, we'll see, we'll see them in action. Probably won't be able to find one. Oh, I, that's right. I got to go out here too. I will need to take the laser turrets out there myself to uh, reinforce that wall. And it's going to take a while to accumulate some laser turrets, so I'll need I'll need to do that later. But let's see if I can find an attack so I can show you. Probably won't be able to uh, right here. You don't have laser turrets yet. All right, let me see if I can boost. It was steel, probably. Uh, oh, that's right. I need to set up production of of uh, these furnaces. I'm not making those. Electric furnaces. Steel, advanced circuit, and stone brick. Let's see here. Steel, advanced circuit. There's advanced circuit. There's stone brick. Such as it is. Um, that's very weak, isn't it? Do I have more stone? Yes, I do. Uh, where is my current stone coming from? It's coming from the stone <laughs> mine that's empty. Okay. Um, oh, there's some stone there. But I need more. I'm going to have to run a belt over there. All right, I'm going to have to go over there and put some mining drills on that stone mine. Uh, right there and belt it over to the factory because I'm about to run out of stone brick and I need stone brick. So, give me a bunch of belt if there is any. And let me do that. I feel like I'm putting out fires in this episode again. It's all right. It's a death world. It's pretty common. Do I have any mining drills? I need some mining drills. Got, yeah, I've got some. 43. Uh, do we have any more? Yes, we do. Okay, and then... Uh, stone mine over there. Right there. And that is going to get belted over to stone smelting, which is there. Okay, that's not too bad. Got logistic bots, they're coming to get my trash. Okay, you're gonna get that stall? Yes. You need to be there? Probably. Where's the mini mall? Mini mall is over here.
You need to have power, okay. Stone, you need to go. You need to go up there. So over here and up there. Up there. Okay, a little bit farther. Right up there. Okay, this looks like a pretty good place. And you're going to go up through here. some stone. I did not connect that one. Okay, stone is on the way. to go over here. Like that. There we go. Okay, that will help. Now I need lasers. Yeah. I need to get I need to take those out there and put them myself and there's not enough of them in the base yet cuz they keep getting placed where I blueprinted them in.
They are getting placed, though. You are running. You have iron ore. There's still none over there, though. There's a few. Can I boost production of those? What are you waiting on now? You're waiting on circuits. Ah. And you're waiting on copper. I only have... You're not flowing. Can I get another copper belt? Do I have any... Yeah, I could make red belt, but I don't... Let's see, if I had enough gears, I could... I could make some red belt. That might be an easier way to get more iron plate up there. Let's see... Can I get some gears somewhere? Are there gears in a box over here, maybe? Takes a lot of gears to make a red belt. Okay, I don't want to handcraft gears. Well, that'll give me a few red belt. It's actually, it's not starving for iron ore, so... Um, okay, let's go put some red belt over here. And see if that'll help. Oh, wait, let me check again. So it's... Make sure I've got the... Uh, so you are waiting on... You're waiting on circuits. And you're getting your circuits from... Here. And you're waiting on... Copper. And it's a yellow belt. So, yeah, if I, let me see if I can get more copper plate over here. Copper plate, yeah. Yeah, this one's not flowing. Now, let's try this. Give me a splitter. And I'm handcrafting circuits.
I want more copper plate there. So give me the splitter. Give me some red belt. You don't need to be there. I need more gears. It takes a ton of gears to make red stuff. Yes, 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 I know, I hear you. And then these. Like this. That will get more copper plate up there. That will make more circuits. Like that. Copper's making it all the way down to the end now. That'll give me more circuits. Yeah, now I've got some extras. That'll be extra circuits over here, and extra circuits down there, and that'll make more laser turrets. That's what I want. Now copper plates making it all the way to the end. Ah, well, there are a few laser turrets. Let's see if we can find one that's actually engaging the enemy. Um, here we go, there's a big group. Are there any laser turrets up here? There's a couple. That one. Yeah, there's not enough. They did engage the bugs, but I just need more of them. When all those get placed, that'll help. And you can, if you look at my blueprint, I don't have just a couple like that. I have uh, an entire row of them down through there. So, I mean, once I get enough laser turrets, I'll do that. But but uh, that will help. So, oh, I, I need to set up production of electric furnaces, too. Steel, advanced circuit, and stone brick. Steel, advanced circuit. There's advanced circuit. There's steel. 
Stone brick. There's stone brick. Steel advanced circuit and stone brick and I need electric furnaces. Where's a good place to build this? Steel, advanced circuit, stone brick. Five seconds, 10 steel, 5 advanced circuit, 10 stone brick. circuit stone brick um steel Advanced circuit, stone brick. There. Electric furnaces. And the bots are probably, yeah, they're going to grab some. Good. And they'll build that uh, smelting layout over there, which I want. Oh, and I got, uh, did I put the red belt in a chest? I'll make sure the red belt's in the chest so they can build all that. So I think that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button. I would appreciate it very much. Take a quick look here. I've got uh, electric furnaces to smelt steel. Bots are going to build that. I've got blueprinted laser turrets around the wall. Oh, they're, pl they're placing them in there. That'll help a lot. 
I have to take laser turrets out there myself and put them around that wall. Once I get a few of them built up, I will do that. And that will be a big help. So, that'll do it. See ya.